Hi guys, uh, today I will show you Nightmare Krylos uh, for level 90 plus Paladin. So let's take a look. Experience is pretty great here for a 90 plus Paladin. It's about an 8 out of 10. Loot, on the other hand, is pretty awful. It's about 1 out of 10. You know, they drew, drop a little bit, you know, a focus cape here and there, but in general, not very good. Uh, spawn difficulty, also 1 out of 10. If you come here with full imbuement, this place is super, super easy. Uh, optimization difficulty, I give it a 5 out of 10 for one reason and one reason only. You have loads of monsters which run at high health and it is a pain in the ass uh, to chase the, the little nightmares around and that's where the optimization difficulty comes from because you need to sort of you know change your targets to make sure everything doesn't run away at the same time and then you waste loads of time chasing it um it's not super difficult it's just it's just really annoying so do bear that in mind this place can get annoying with the with the nightmares running away from you. Uh, access difficulty zero, there's no access. Popularity six out of 10. Uh, this place is the best place to hunt at for low level EKs from around level 90 to around level 150. Um, so you can imagine that they sometimes come here, uh, but because the experience is so great, those EKs very quickly reach that level 150 and don't come back. So that's the reason why it's not 10 out of 10, because you know there's not enough uh, low level EKs to be here all the time. But this place is great. Uh, for Paladins, it's a little bit worse, uh, admittedly, but it's still pretty good. Uh, so yeah, this can be hunted effectively by Knights, Paladins, maybe Druids and Sorcerers. They will probably struggle even more with the uh, running away of the monsters, but it's, it's manageable. Uh, and maybe a duo around level 50 as well. And the other notes for this place is easy, easy Grizzly Adams tasks. Uh, it takes about an hour to do the whole task. So definitely worthwhile to do in this level range, this task three times, the nightmare task, super, super worth. Uh, let's take a look at the results. Uh, so you on a 90 plus Paladin, you can get about 900K an hour in raw experience. Uh, which is about 1.4 million on 150, you know, maybe 1.3 million on 150. Uh, and the loot, like I mentioned, is pretty awful. Uh, it's about, yeah, 20k profit per hour ish, something like that. Uh, and Beast Cherry, about two hours for Nightmare Scion, 2.5 hours for Undead Gladiator. Uh, moving on. Uh, you will, yeah, I recommend level 90 plus because you really do want to have that damage to quickly kill them with the crystalline arrows before they run away. Um, it's not because of difficulty. Because of difficulty, you could come here at level 70, I think, but it just it would just suck, so I, I wouldn't really bother. Uh, recommended imbuements. Uh, so I recommend the standard imbuements, you know, pro powerful crit, two times mana, two times life leech. Uh, maybe you don't need that extra life leech because it's not so difficult, but either way, just, just standard imbuements, whatever you would wear somewhere else. And I don't think there's any, any need for any protection imbuements. Uh, it's 77% physical, 13% earth damage, and 10% death damage. Um, but like I said, the damage here is low, so I would recommend focusing on your plus skill items. So, you know, you get your paladin armors, yellow hurry leg pieces, etc., and don't really wor worry about the damage types. Uh, with regards to the supplies, I don't use any great mana potions, and I don't use ultimate spirit potions. I know you can see I used two in the supply analyzer. Uh, this was a misclick. I definitely didn't need them, so... You don't really need any potions as long as you have your imbuements. Uh, you will need about 1600 arrows uh, per hour and I recommend getting a few avalanche runes I didn't actually use any when I was recording uh, but sometimes it can be helpful because sometimes you do have like six seven monsters surrounding you and then it can be better to use avalanche uh, versus using like Xori San or Xori Con or something. Uh, charms not recommended uh, I don't think it's really worth it especially at this level and the character in the video is level 160 RP of 120 distance skill and 24 magic level all with loyalty uh, before we take a quick look at the roots quick shout out to all my youtube members thank you very much guys thank you for all the support that's Jedal, Kruta, Jiki Crystal, Paput, Laskis, Javi, Escabi and Defect Musgo thank you very much uh, and looking at the root so let's see so you come in here and I'll just basically draw where I go so I go here killing everything on the way you will then go down the hole at minus one you will come out on minus two here. So I usually kill this room and then I try and kill this big room here. So I do a little loop around here and then I go back. I don't I don't bother coming here because then there's gonna be too much backtracking and there's only like one nightmare and two nightmare scions in there. So I wouldn't really bother with this. Then I go back up, I go up back to minus one. I go here, here, to the right, do a little loop through here. Then again, I go to minus two down this hole and I just do this room here to the left. 
I do a little pull here. This is um, one nightmare and a few nightmare scions, and then I go back up. I don't really need any of this because there's enough respawn without having to go there and backtrack, so I, I tend to avoid this section. And then on back on minus one, I go through here, through here, and I make the loop back to the entrance, and that's it. Super simple, uh, quite a fun place. It's a little bit annoying with them running away and stuff, but overall, great experience, great uh option to do grizzly adams tasks and it's not super super popular so yeah definitely recommend this for level 90 plus paladins uh, and i will also have a guide coming uh for an ek at this place but this will be in in a few months so uh stay stay tuned for that uh yeah and that's all i have for you today guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye